Hello, I'm Didier Stevens, a senior analyst with uh, Enviso. So we posted on our blog post an analysis of an, uh, a malicious document, an office uh, document, and uh, we could use uh, Philippe Lagadec's uh, VBA emulator uh, spider viper monkey that you can find here. So I'm going to show you in this video how this works. So we have vmonkey and, and our sample. So I'm just going to start Viper Monkey on our sample. And it will extract all the VBA code it finds in this uh, Office document. You see here the last entry here is workbook open with uh, uh, commands like create object here with some uh, CHR obfuscated strings and here language, another uh, CHR obfuscated string. And in the meanwhile here uh, Viper Monkey is uh, parsing the VBA code. And since uh, this is uh, quite some VBA code to parse, uh, it's about uh, one megabyte, it will take some time, a couple of minutes. So uh, I'm going to pause uh, the video here. Okay, so here uh, we have the output. Viper Monkey will report uh, some special actions, but here it did not find any uh, special actions, so this table is empty. But if you look here at create object, you can see that it does an MS script, script control, script control uh, object to be um, instantiated. And that is actually those CHR codes that we saw before here. All those CHR codes. That's actually so the create object of an uh, MS script control object. Here, this one here has not been uh, decoded. We can do that. Uh, so that's defined the language. And then uh, with that object, with that uh, interpreter, code is evaluated. And the code is located in variable LQ3. Uh, LQ3 here is built up here by uh, running all those uh, functions. You can see here contents of those uh, functions. Okay, so let's run this again, but with option E to uh, have all the constant expressions uh, evaluated. Again, this will take some time, so I'm going to pause the video here. Okay, and now you can see here we have again the object, MS script control, and then the language here, JScript. So this language here, this expression corresponds to JScript. Eh? JScript is a variant and implementation of Microsoft of uh, JavaScript. So this uh, LQT3 variable will contain a long JavaScript uh, program, JScript program, and that's what we want to recover. Now there is one way to do that, and that is with debug statements. So we again launch, and we are going to say now that the log level that we want is the debug log level. And then we can run this, and then we are going to get a lot of output. You can see here all the parsing, all the lines that are being parsed are uh, debugged. So this will produce a lot of output. So let me stop this because I'm going to redirect this all this output to a file and then we can search in the, inside that file. So the command v monkey log level debug sample vir and the output will be redirected to output dot log. Now the debug output is actually written to standard out standard error. So we need to redirect standard error and uh, I will call this debug.log like this. Again, this will run for a couple of minutes. Viper uh, Monkey has finished running, 
So now we can look into the debug log. For example, search for LQ3. And here we have first values here. So let's get the assignment of LQ3 out of the log. You can do that with the grep. Setting LQ3 equals, and we search that in the debug log. So, and this is our script. Uh, you can maybe recognize a lot of base64, and then here at the end, writing to a file and uh, executing uh, that file. Now, if we do a line count, you see we have two lines. That be that's because in the VBA code, LQ3 is assigned twice, and we are interested in the last assignment. So I'm going to do a tail of the last line like this. And this gives us the script. We can save this to a file. So let's call this jscript. And then I can edit this. Remove the debug line like this. The debug header, sorry. Okay. And now here we have uh, our JavaScript that can be uh, analyzed by uh, other tools. So thank you for watching uh, this video. I'm Didier Stevens, an analyst uh, with uh, Enviso. And please subscribe uh, to our blog and to our YouTube channel. Thank you.